in this video i'll talk about what is cost function and how do we use cost function to estimate parameter of the regression equation before studying what is a cost function let us uh, define uh, what is known as hypothesis well we have studied uh, what is a regression uh, equation uh, the right hand side of the regression equation which is uh, beta naught plus beta 1 x this is the line and uh, uh, this is otherwise known as hypothesis okay we denote it as h of x hypothesis of x is a function of x with parameters beta naught and beta 1 okay so this is our hypothesis okay um, now uh, let us uh, define cost function as 1 by 2n where n is the number of set of observation input and output observation if you look at the graph here there are six observations six cross six crosses right so n is six here um, so n is the number of observations that you have or the number of data you have and then summation over 1 is uh, i equal to 1 to n the hypothesis hypothesis is again is the line is the regression line which has the equation beta naught plus beta 1 x minus your y i so what is y here y is the output value okay so uh, for example um, y i for this particular observation uh, this cross you just put a perpendicular there so wherever it meets the y axis that is the y value here so for this this is the y value let's call it y1 for this we will have y2 for this you have y3 and so on we keep on putting these values and comp uh, and calculate the cost function okay we can do it in fact uh, on a pen and paper just uh, you know if you have a graph and put data points in place you can use this formula to come up with the value of a cost function now we can have different kind of hypothesis uh, if beta 1 is 1 and beta uh, beta naught is 1 beta 1 is 0 we'll have we'll have a hypothesis like this the line is parallel to the y axis sorry x axis uh, if beta naught is 0 and beta 1 is 0.5 the hypothesis line or the regression line is like this similarly if beta naught is 1 and beta 1 is 0 0.5 we will have a hypothesis line like this so we can have different kind of hypothesis line based on the par uh, values of beta naught and beta 1 the purpose of cost function is that we use it to find out the hypothesis as you know there are several hypotheses that we can draw with uh, you know a set of observations we need to choose the best hypothesis and how uh, how do we know that a hypothesis is best for us the hypothesis line which is closest to the data point is the best hypothesis on what criteria do we choose the hypothesis line we use the cost function criteria to choose the best hypothesis cost function for this hypothesis is defined like this as you can see on the screen we minimize the cost function with respect to beta naught and beta 1 we minimize it so the hypothesis for which the uh, cost function takes the minimum value is the best hypothesis among this set of all hypotheses possible hypothesis the same thing i am just putting it on a graph you can see there are so many hypotheses i have drawn in front uh, hypothesis lines uh, passing through the data points i need to see which one of them is ha uh, is having the minimum uh, num minimum cost function value well you can have infinite number of hypothesis line uh, you can have a, a huge number of uh, these hypothesis line there is no limit to it we need to find it mathematically 
for what hypothesis line the cost function takes the minimum value and the function um, you know the cost function formula is uh, given is already given in the uh, previous slides we will just use that to find it out when we have cost function values for all the hypothesis we'll just plot it in a graph we have the cost function in the y axis and beta naught and beta 1 for in the x axis the place where the cost function takes the minimum value is the best hypothesis is the is also known as the minimum square error so wherever we have minimum square error or minimum cost function value the corresponding hypothesis is the best hypothesis or the hypothesis which is best suited to our data and using which we can uh, you know you, you know predict the target value so that is the purpose of understanding what is cost function and how do we use cost function to come up with a regression line or a best or suitable hypothesis